friends, how y'all doing? Well, you are with me, Neharika, and what do we have for you today? Well, I'm going to help you with some tips to instantly appear confident. So, confidence. Why would you want to appear confident? Well, of course, because this is one of the most important skills that we need to acquire. Confidence, even a little bit of confidence, makes a difference in our daily situations. So it's time to take pride in yourself and let's have a look at some tips that would help you to appear confident. One of the most important things that I would like to share with you when it comes to confidence is make your body language work for you. Now imagine if I slouch and I try to teach you some things, would you be really interested? Now 80% of first impressions are dependent on your body language. Oh yes, if you do not have a good posture, if your body language isn't that great, people are not going to be impressed and would be least interested in you. Now at times, slouching would give you a backache. So why do you want to be in trouble? Why do you want to be in pain? Have a good posture when you are talking to someone. The other things that you really need to keep in mind is having a good eye contact. So make sure that you make an eye contact when you're talking to a person. Make sure you also use your hand gestures to enhance your verbal statements and also smile when you are talking to someone. So if you are talking with someone with a straight face, that would not be great. So smile when you are having a conversation with people. The most important thing that you need to keep in mind is put in effort to make your body language work for you. that I need you to keep in mind is slow down. Well, when we are a little nervous while having a conversation with people or maybe when you are in a meeting talking to your clients or probably even when you are on the phone talking to someone, if you get a little nervous, you tend to speak very fast, your voice goes up few notes and you start mumbling and rumbling. Now, whatever you say is not going to make sense to the other person who's listening to you. So it's time to calm down, take a deep breath and then use pauses as an advantage for you. When you speak slowly, you will be able to gather your thoughts and you will be able to come out more clearly and make the other person understand what you're trying to say. Because if you get nervous, if you tend to speak way too fast, people will fail to understand you. So take a deep breath, calm down, relax and then speak. I would like to share with you is to develop a confident lifestyle. It's time to look good and feel good. So how do you look good and feel good? Well firstly maintain good hygiene. You don't want to come out as a stinky person. You think people are gonna like you if you smell bad? No, people are not gonna want to have a chat with you. They would never be interested in talking to you. So it's important to maintain a good hygiene. It's important for you to take a shower daily, oh yes, and to keep your nails and your hair very neat and tidy. So you would come out as a very confident person. Another thing that you need to work on is maintaining your health. How do you do that? Well, you need to sleep well and eat healthy food. Yes, eating too much of junk food is gonna show up on your face. You're not going to look that great and therefore it's going to hit your confidence. 
because if you do not look great, how are you going to appear confident? So maintain good hygiene, maintain good health so that you come out as a very confident personality. The next tip that I have for you is get out of your head. Now, yes, we went through some physical changes and now it's time to see what's going on inside. So it's time to get out of your head. So here when I say this, what I mean to say is, you know, at times when you get a little nervous and you don't know what to say, the fear and that anxiety just shows up on your face. And that's because we have these little tiny lizards that get activated in our brains. Yes, these lizards are absolutely responsible for your fear and for the negativity and of course for the anxiety that shows up. So stop thinking what others will talk about you or what others would think about you. It's important for you to feel confident from the inner side. If that confidence shows up, things will be so much better. So don't care about the people, don't bother too much about other people and just come out as a confident person. Deactivate these tiny lizards who are troubling you way too much. And how do you do that? Well, just a couple of examples that would help you to work on this. You know, when you have a meeting or a presentation, Many people keep practicing till the very last moment. Well, you need to quit doing that. If you think that yes, you have rehearsed well, you have practiced well for this meeting or for the presentation, then the next thing that you need to do is get busy with something else. Get a little occupied by doing some other things and then just go ahead and go for the presentation or for the meeting. In this way, you would come out as a very confident person. There would be no nervousness, no anxiety, no fear. Another thing that you can do is, the moment you find a person whom you can have a conversation with, just go ahead and approach that person immediately. If you give more seconds to yourself, those lizards will be activated and that nervousness would come out. So just don't think too much. Go ahead and start having conversation with other people. And the last tip that I would love to share with you is seek more and more opportunities to talk more. Oh yes, I love talking and that's exactly the reason why I encourage people to talk more. Now, you can start having conversation with strangers, of course. Try to have some meaningful conversations. Now, to do so, start practicing or start working on the topics that you would really like to talk on with strangers or with other people. The more and more you get into talking, you are going to appear more confident. Another thing that you can do is, well, when you are in an office, don't just stick yourself to your office desk. Move around, take these short breaks, move around on the floor, start talking, start building up a good rapport with other people. And again, this would also help you to gain a little more of confidence because you're talking, you're having conversation with the others and people are really liking it. But again, make sure that you're having meaningful conversations. So go ahead, what are you waiting for? Grab that opportunity to talk with several people. So this brings me to the end of the session. Hope you'll enjoy it and the next time you step out in the real world, you will appear confident instantly. And please don't forget to subscribe. If you want to learn and improve on your skills, it's time to subscribe our channel. So go ahead and do that and I'll be back with more and more sessions for you all. Till then, you take care.